All right, here is someone from Canada, Gerard. And he's talking about stability or asking about it. Hey, Ron, it's the South African guy from Canada. So this is cool. We have a South African gentleman from Canada asking a dude in uh, the United States. <laughs> I managed to catch up on another few your episodes this week. You talk a lot about stable bullets. Please elaborate a little more on bullet stability. We know a heavier bullet in the same caliber becomes longer, which requires a higher twist in the barrel to keep it stable. But what is stable? Does it start tumbling tip over basins going sideways or <laughs> what distance will it start to tumble? I know you're going to say how long is a piece of rope, wink, wink. Um, or is it just a matter of spinning in a spiral manner, keeping the tip front end and the tail back end and causing it to deflect from its path, which should be in theory affected by velocity, drag and weight, uh, all of the above, some of the above, more. <laughs> okay, let's just back up and see if we can figure out this stability stuff. Most of us do pretty well thinking of a football. You throw a football wobbly and you don't go very far and it wobbles and it doesn't fly very well. Nice spiral and you go, that quarterback can throw a beautiful spiral. And that's valuable because it'll go straight down range and won't be deflected by the wind and all wonderful stuff. Same thing with a bullet. Think also of a top. Gyroscopic stability in your bullet is like stabilizing a top. If your top is perfectly stabilized, you spin that thing and it just stands up perfectly straight and hums along and wow. But if you get a little bit wobbly, if that top has a little more weight on one edge than the other, it starts wobbling and it doesn't want to stay in place, right? You want your bullet to stay on its flight path. Nose forward, <laughs> tail backwards, just like you said. Exactly right. So you need to spin that thing fast enough, just like your top or your football, so it stays straight down range. Now, how do they become unstable? They're not spinning fast enough. They start like a top that's going too slow to wobble. And when they start to wobble, the wind starts to hit the sides and the nose and it starts to slow down faster and get blown off course and you've got a mess. If you shoot too long of a bullet for your twist rate, you will see on your target egg-shaped holes. You'll have a relatively poor group even at 100 yards and instead of being a nice round hole it's egg shaped your bullet is landing semi sideways it's just not stable the nose is nodding yawing circling around and your bullet's just not having a happy life so you've got to spin it fast enough and that's a stable bullet as long as it's uh, stable enough to maintain its ballistics coefficient and i'll maybe expand on that a little bit too a bullet is, is rated for its ballistics coefficient from the factory after they do a bunch of tests and things. And you can check this by shooting farther and farther downrange to see if it's doing what it's supposed to do, maintaining velocity and everything else. Um, but generally, your rifles will do pretty well what they say they will do for that ballistics coefficient. But sometimes you'll find out that, man, you're not getting near the, the drop drift trajectory things that are predicted for that BC, which means... The bullet really does not have that high of a BC. And uh, it might be because your barrel has scoured the bullet too much with its rifling, kind of ripped up the surface, so you've got more drag that way. But more likely, it's not quite stable, and the nose is sort of circling around the tail. The tail end maybe is going pretty well straight, but the front end is doing this. And if you're looking at a podcast, you're not seeing my fingers doing a twist here, but just run your finger around in a circle. The base of your finger here at the knuckle is staying in the same place, but the tip is circling around. That's one of the things a bullet can do. And as you can imagine, if it does that, it exposes more of its surface area on the nose and even on the shank to more airflow, drag, and that slows the bullet down and it lowers your ballistics coefficient. If the bullet is perfectly stabilized, it's point forward and the wind is being split by that nice sharp nose and sliding around the bullet so you have maximum aerodynamic efficiency. There's your stable bullet. Hope that helps you out there, Ger uh, Gerard. I'm sorry, didn't, didn't mean to call you Gerald when you're a Gerard. But good question and uh, thanks for asking it. Mm -hmm. 